15 ohm. Well, that's what tells you. We'll have to be so careful. The backhand of Dokic is so solid. It's going to be tough to serve and come in against that kind of timing and power off that wing. The problem for Natalie out here is the fact that Dokic takes things so early, always trying to force her way up the court. It's going to really take away the time from Tazia in this match. There's the break, and there is in one game the tactical gloves being thrown on the table. The big hitting of Yelena Dokic against the serve volley of Natalie Tozia. It's forced her to stay back, Tozia, and that's a worrying sign for her chances. 3 1 first set. Well, I hope Natalie's brought her running shoes with her from the hotel booth because she's going to have to really cover the court today. 15 hot. Dokic is brilliant at playing into the spaces. She's amazing at playing back behind. And she's really going to attack that forehand side of her opponent. That's the side that's not as solid as the, that beautiful backhand Tazio possesses. 15 hot. Dokic will be have to be careful where she serves to in this match. Doesn't want to play too much to tells you backhand because that allows has yet to get up the court and into the net.
She's got to gamble as well, Natalie. She can't hang around. She's going to have to maybe go in on shots that she otherwise would stay back on against most other players. Elena Dokic won't give her too many short balls. And Tazia making a good job of her forehand so far in this match, really taking it on, taking it early. Struggled against Testud on that wing yesterday. That's cruel, especially on a break point. They met earlier on in the year in LA on hard in the round of 16, six love, love six, six two for Natalie Tozia, an extraordinary scoreline. Well, I think a note of caution with that drop shot, Yelena Dokic, against the top players who have seen her. It's just getting a little predictable. And that's why Dokic is top ten in the world now. Jeez. And advancing. Very clinical with her finishing, so focused throughout all her matches. There's been some impressive serving so far, which Chris and I both believe is it's the slight weakness in her game, but she's really improved it this year. It can break down under pressure. What she has to make sure is that it isn't put under too much pressure. Tough game. You feel it was an important one for Natalie Tozia, and as I said earlier, is feeling tired. She's 4-1 down now in the first set. Yeah, under the cosh. 1-4, first set. Elena thought it was wide. No real complaint though. Just a look. Now, I'm a follower of fashion as you know Sam and yesterday we were watching Natalie, one of those tie backs at the back of the headband was pointing up like a feather. I prefer it that way. Looks like she's on the up. When the feather's down, it's reflective. I think you're just a fashion victim, Bradham. <laughs> certainly doing well to hang in. That was probably her best service game in the match so far. When you think she had a breakpoint chance in the last game, the scoreline may be closer than it looks. Oh. 
I like the way Natalie's approaching this match. Though no half measures, she knows she's got to go for it, and she knows she can she can keep her level up. There is always the opportunity for Dokic to go off the boil. Dokic plays very close to the lines. It's a fine margin for her from her being extremely good and missing a lot of shots. So Pitch out here will, will look to move Tazia around the court. And I'll never let her settle, never let her feel comfortable. good with winners off of both wings so aggressive it's absolutely relentless 14. what a lot of people don't realize about Yelena Dockett she also has great timing as well natural timing Tozia's timing is just a little off. Maybe the belief is as well. Dokic, Elena Dokic, 5-2 in the first set. Tozia serving with new balls to stay in the first set of this, the second semi-final, 2-5. react off the let cord very flat footed She looks so sharp by comparison, Yelena Dokic. She looks as fresh as a daisy. Two set points for the number four seed. So lackluster Natalie Toziak today. It's as though the quarterfinal win against Sandrine Tested from France has knocked all the stuffing out of it. 26 minutes it's taken Yelena Dokic to secure the first set by six games to two. Dokic serving the first game, second set, set up.
much better. The gamble again, off the return, running in. If you get past throughout the match, too good. But at least try to win it. Well played. Thought about coming in off the return and the other shots thereafter, but uh, the arrow helping for once. Better. Bucket serving a little bit more to the backhand in this game, and that gives Natalie the opportunity to come in. Brilliant. And maybe what we were hoping and expecting for from Natalie Tozer at the beginning of the match. He's just telling his wife that's how to do it. First game, the second set. Good shadow swing of the forehand volley there from the crowd. But a great game for Natalie Tozier. Well, Tozier had to get going in this match. Maybe she had a, had a first set to shake off the cobwebs from yesterday. And now maybe you can see some of the tennis that she's capable of. Which played an immaculate first set, didn't really give Tozier a long. chance, really took an, the opportunity. But now it could be a different ball game. Really expand the repertoire this year, Dokic. Loves the target when someone's coming forward if she's got the time. Brilliant. Great disguise on that forehand lob. so hard to get the break does not want to let it slip here she's got a bit of momentum going
and I'm being stopped. One feature of all Dokic's matches we've seen over the last six months that because she's played so much match tennis this year, she's so solid on all the big points, plays them extremely well, happy to play under pressure. Clenched fist says it all. The appetite for winning is insatiable for Yelena Dokic. Three titles all this year and looking for her fifth final in all. I think what's interesting with the two, with the three titles she's won, two of those were tier ones, the Italian Open and Moscow, the Kremlin Cup. They were huge, huge titles to win. that so well Dokic almost looks as if she takes the back the forehand a little bit late a little bit behind her it's just that she's coming so round on the ball you can't see where it's going to go two quick games a little bit lost Natalie Tozia she knows the game plan it's just the execution it's not quite there at the level required a set 2-1 now for the Yugoslav Got to rebuild the momentum, Natalie Tozia. Had a break, lost it. One, two, second set. Well, they have to be that good to work these days, these drop shots. Caught Tozia with her weight going backwards. Super touch. Broke the wrist beautifully to stun the ball. Took the opportunity to come in down the middle of the court, not opening up the angle for Dokic. Turn low. It's an awkward volley. She's read these Tazia serves extremely well, and they are so difficult to read. Tazia off the serve, very deceptive. It's a bit of a slap that she gives it. You can see the eagerness in Dokic's eyes. Thirteen fourteen. Thank <laughs> you. 
seconds. If there's ever a final nail, I think it's just been driven home. Driven with some venom. Do you think how many times Natalie Tazia has had to cover the net in her career, but she's not reading Dokic and she's struggling to cope with the pace? I just feel out here Tazia just hasn't got enough time to play the tennis that she wants to. She's not being allowed to play. She's finding the energy from somewhere to get up to the net. Again, it's the backhand that allows her to get in. She's had so few chances in this match, just getting a little carried away. The only way I feel that she can get back into the second set is if somehow Dokic goes off the ball and she takes advantage of it. Doesn't look like happening at the moment. She's giving and offering Natalie a lifeline here, Dokic. She only nearly needs to simmer in this match, Dokic. That's not being too unfair on Natalie, but she's just exhausted out here on court. It's an effort. She's putting 100% into the recovery bid. Breaks back. Stops the run of three guys. Serve though in the second set. 43 minutes played. It's 2-3. A few late comers. They're the offenders. A sleeve, but her heart's on it.
Could have to let Yelena Dostkic moves as well forward as she does side to side. Loves to hunt down the tennis ball, wherever it is. The well constructed point from the young Yugoslav. We've got the feet here making space, making sure she's on balance, full body rotation. that volley from some distance back Natalie but with some style Well, that smash was all about the movement backwards from Dokic, very sharp, oh, explosive. Got a little rack ahead speed. two in a row I think the problem for Tazia out here is that she's having to hit so many oh, difficult time. volleys she's not getting comfortable hasn't been allowed to get in a rhythm in that part of her game and Dokic is relentless five service breaks in this set oh. yeah it was long Overall from the chair. He feels it has to be so good. Look, it's putting her under so much pressure. <laughs> Alec called helping the run of four points from Love 30, but the finish of the game exceptional from this exceptional young lady. A set and five, two up, and one game away from her fifth final of the year. Serving to stay in this semi-final. Two five down, second set. 
Too good. It's not just the power from Doc, it's just the accuracy as well. So good on the move. Doesn't seem to matter whether the ball is low or shoulder height. Wills it into court. Super wrist work from Dokic. It's not an easy shot. Particularly with her grips, has to get right under the ball. Oh, just about sums it up. Two match points for the number four seed. Only needs the one. A fantastic forehand cross court winner to book her place in her fifth final of the year, looking for her fourth title against Lindsay Davenport, twice the champion here. Natalie Tozia gave it all up to the end of her quarter final match. There wasn't much left in the tank, and she'll sleep well tonight. It's been another terrific week for her here in Zurich, but in the end, after 54 minutes, Shilena Dokic just too strong. She loves winning, and you don't often see her smile, but she enjoyed that one. Fantastic and flawless performance. She'll be a real handful for Davenport tomorrow. We've got a great final in prospect. So that's the end of the second semi-final. It's Yelena Dokic against Lindsay Davenport from Sam Smith and me, Chris Bradnam. Thanks for your company, and bye for now.